if officers are trained that while two other adults are restraining a child, you repeatedly punch them in the face, you grab their hair and repeatedly punch them in the face and you break their nose and you fracture their pelvis and you cause internal bleeding in their brain, what is wrong with policing in this state? You ever get the feeling that everything in America is completely fucked up? If you don't think for one split second that if we didn't have our second amendment, the government wouldn't overstep its boundaries and make us do shit even when we're against it, you're out of your mind. I don't give a damn where you stand or how or what you vote. That's dandy and fine if you trust Uncle Sam, but I for one fucking don't. And why would I? What have they done? Give me a reason for me to believe them. New details in the Oaklawn police officer facing charges for a violent arrest after a traffic stop. You see in this video a big show of support this morning for Officer Patrick O'Donnell as he walked into court for his arraignment. CBS 2's Noel Brennan is live outside the Oaklawn Police Department with more. Noel? Well, Marie and Jim, Officer Patrick O'Donnell was indicted by a grand jury and charged with aggravated battery and official misconduct. He pleaded not guilty today, and he left the courthouse just as he came in, surrounded by a crowd of Oaklawn police officers. Dozens of those officers followed O'Donnell through the courthouse this morning. There wasn't enough space in the courtroom to fit them all in. They were there to support O'Donnell, who was caught on camera last July, now accused of beating 17-year-old Hadi Abutilla. Police say Abutilla was a passenger in a car that officers stopped, and he took off running. Prosecutors say officers took the team to the ground, and Officer O'Donnell started punching Abutilla repeatedly. In court, prosecutors said Officer O'Donnell, quote, punched toward Abutilla's head and face more than 10 times. If officers are trained that while two other adults are restraining a child, you repeatedly punch them in the face, you grab their hair and repeatedly punch them in the face and you break their nose and you fracture their pelvis and you cause internal bleeding in their brain, what is wrong with policing in this state? Oakland police say they found a handgun in a bag that was strapped across Abatilla's chest. The teen was also charged. And organizers with the Arab American Action Network want to see those two other officers involved in the arrest charged as well. Officer O'Donnell is due back in court on April 6th. Reporting live from the Layton Criminal Court Building, Noel Brennan, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Noel. <laughs> Nine five McVicker, nine five McVicker, next to McDonald's. Yes, I can. Put your hand on your hands your back. Do it now. Yeah, well, pressure, po yeah, pressure point. Pressure point. Put your hand on your back. Do it now. Do it now. Hands on your back. Hands behind your back. Got it. Got it. Let me watch this.